Um, I did call. I did call and I had a long chat with Brownsburg PD. They actually ended up calling back onto my house phone to talk to, just to get more details. I'll say that. Um, they're very much aware of her. They knew her channel name before I even had to mention it. Um, their PD is very nice. Very, very nice. Um, like I said, they're just very well aware, well aware of her. They they know what she's up to. Um, they informed me, you know, of certain things. <laughs> but there isn't anything they can do unless she actually doxes me. So they had me email them, like, screenshots and the live stream and my live stream um, of reacting. And that's that. You know, they have all the information. Um, but until, you know, they're... They took her threats pretty seriously, but they can't do anything, which is so crappy. Like, I'll just say that. It's so crappy that you actually have to get hurt or doxxed in order for, like, the system to be able to help you at all. And that sucks. Hey, everybody. It's Busy Little Bee. Welcome back to my channel. I am re-editing and re-uploading some of my old content because the audio and video was just terrible quality. <laughs> but I wanted this to still be out for everyone to see. This is from December 2022. And Breezy had been covering MFW when MFW was just doing her live streams and drinking and talking shit. And Breezy kept poking and poking and talking shit and talking shit. And I don't know what she thought she was doing because she knew who MFW was. She says that she knows that anyone who talks about her gets doxxed. If you know that, then why why are you covering her? That doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Um, a really wise um, piece of garlic once said in a video that we should do risk assessments when it comes to our content. <laughs> Maybe you should have done a risk assessment. You should have listened to your uh, fake fiance and I don't know, done a risk assessment here. Maybe it wasn't worth covering Katie and talking so much shit about her alcoholism when you're a recovering alcoholic yourself. This was one of the first times I noticed that Breezy has a lot of self-hatred that she doesn't like to admit to. And I get it. I would probably hate myself too if people had to, you know, find me behind 7-Elevens passed out or in gutters passed out or pay off pimps to take me home. I just, I'd probably hate myself too, but maybe that would be a better thing to focus on than looking at other people who you think are worse than you and talking shit to them. Just my opinion, take it or leave it. So we're gonna see how this went down when Breezy called the police on MFW for supposedly doxing her. All she did was she said, she has a child and she's covering me? Like, what the fuck is she thinking? She wasn't trying to get their address or anything. She wasn't. This woman is not going to come from Indiana to California to mess with you, Breezy. Stop. <laughs> you know this, too. And that's another thing. Breezy knows this shit is all online. She has never been in danger, not once, nor has her daughter, nor has her home. But she will forever come on here and play the victim. She accuses other people of, of having that kind of m mindset and mentality. But I've only seen it in her, not th those who react to her. In fact, a lot of us who react to her have had a lot of bad things done to us that we've never even talked about. All right, so let's go ahead and watch, watch Breezy call the cops on MFW and see how she validated her need to call the cops on this stupid shit. I just, I can't believe it. This is why we call her the Karen of Compton. This is it right here. Let's get into the clips. Um, I'm definitely pausing and talking a lot. So, I mean, can, can they report me for covering her channel that shouldn't be there? I don't know. If, if my stream gets taken down, oh well. <laughs> just just raising it has zero. Has what? Oh, that's, that's not Jaden who wants to have, have a fight with me for no reason. I, I what? think you're talking about. I want to have a fight with her? <laughs> yes, we Is do. We fight soon. No, no bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, hey Danny. Do you see the lies that like come just out of nowhere? <laughs> oh my gosh. That just made my whole day. Like when you think things no, couldn't get weirder. Yeah, we're gonna make it happen. <laughs> Are we gonna fight, Katie? Feel so like, like you live to stay away. away. You only live forty minutes away. I don't think I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. What's, What's she, she saying, saying about me? me? Hi, I'm right here. Have a happy new year, Lisa Ray. I'll see you later. We'll be together for sure. I miss you. I would definitely win. Okay, hold on. Happy new year, darling. I'm just going to say this right now. In my addictions, I frequented places. I even lived near Compton before. Like, I've lived all over. But um, I can fight. <laughs> People would try to mess with you when you're drunk, everything else. I can fight, but I don't want to fight you, MFW. I, I don't even know where anybody would get that from. But um, I don't even think I would feel right fighting her because she's not sober. Like, there's not a time where she's sober. Like, that wouldn't even be a fair fight. But, like, <laughs> oh, we can't keep getting giving her excuses because she's drunk. And don't poke Katie because she's drunk. She's going to do something bad because she's drunk. Maybe she needs consequences for her threats and her actions. Everybody has told me that she doxes anybody who reacts to her. And I'm not any different. She's trying to do it now. Yes, Katie, I have a 10-year-old child who loves me. And I got sober for my child. You should try getting sober before you come at me like this. Try doing something hard and putting down the drink instead of starting fights with everybody. Oh, you brought it, girl. You brought it. You you were literally screaming about me, talking about <laughs> God's crosses. Okay, you want to go against God? Are you okay? Oh, this is going to be good. Give me her fucking information. Let's go. Are you serious, you guys? So she wants she to dox in California. me. Jennifer, what's the last name? Katie, that's illegal. Oh, Toodles is over there. That's illegal, no girl. Shit. That's oh, illegal. Over there. I don't know what's going on. I know I like Sammy, you want to go there, too? Ooh, this is going to get good tonight. Yeah, Katie, keep making threats, and it'll get really good. Are you still on probation? <laughs> I had to jump in right here because I realized this is something Breezy does. She pretends everybody is on probation. You know what? Probation, Breezy, doesn't last forever. It's usually over in a year or two. Guess what? Mine was over in 2018. I haven't been on probation since then. You've told lies that I've been on probation this whole time. Uh, you were lying about MFW, too, trying to insinuate she was on probation. Color me surprised. Oh, I damn it. Thank you, Daniel. I'll look for that. Is this real life? <laughs> I'm supposed... I was just reacting to her, Caitlin. You want me to feel sorry for someone who's trying to dox me because I'm just watching her channel? Katie, you say I don't know who you are. I've watched you long enough to know you were somebody who had a lot of light in your eyes before and you were funny and you had a personality and I've watched you turn into a mean drunk. You believe anything your chat tells you. I hope you're listening long and hard here. I never said I wanted to fight you. We were reacting to you watching you and I had said how much potential I saw in you if you changed your life around. But you believe anything people tell you and yet here we are. So keep making threats. Trying to dox me and my child is illegal and will land your drunk butt in jail so keep going Ooh, it's getting good people are coming in now jamie cats she, she has, has a daughter wow a young child or older all right i think i'm going to be calling the police right now should i put uh, you guys on oh, hold she's a former alcoholic yeah Ooh, five years sober you should try it look how bothered she is i'm bothered because you're threatening to dox my child 
but she never came out of my mouth. Nobody so said that. that. Literally that. nobody said that. What city in Indiana is she in again? She's trying to get my information. So, um... Ten? A ten-year-old? Holy fuck. He's got a ten-year-old and talking shit about what is wrong with her. Has anybody told her anything about me? Katie, everybody knows something about you. You hear something and you run with it and you're drunk and you're not thinking straight. Did you hear the part where I said you could change your life around and had potential? No. One of your stupid idiot people in the chat told you I wanted to fight you when I never said that and you ran with it. You're saying things that are going to land you in jail and you're going to regret it. So keep trying to get my information. Leave my child out of your filthy... What is that thing fungus she always has? Whatever, you always have a fungus here in your mouth. Leave my daughter out of your mouth. She doesn't know who I have know in my family that can get the cops there faster, even faster. People think because I don't talk about what people in my family's professions are or who I know that I don't have. <laughs> Just trust me. The police might not do anything before because she's drunk. What can they do? But they'll do something about her asking for me and my child's info because I'm reacting to her on a live stream and saying Jennifer in California and everything else like that can't get her in trouble. But if she keeps going and doxes me and puts me and my child at da in danger, a minor, then yeah, she will be in jail tonight. What the heck? Um, well, she's ban evading, just so you know. Can somebody share? Um, actually, let me share her channel in the chat. And if she wants to make threats and try to dox me, which is illegal. Like I said, is not is she still on probation? Is she supposed to be drinking? Oh, see, they don't want to mess with me when I get petty because I'm nice until you give me a reason not to be nice. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I have no idea. We were watching her, then somebody in her chat tells her that I want to fight her, which never came out of my mouth, and now she's trying to dox me on a channel that she's not even supposed to be on right now. She's trying to get my information. So, um... <laughs> I almost feel bad for myself, you guys. Like, I came on this live stream in, in such a better mood. Like, I felt just hopeful. I have your guys' support. I have so much family support. I'm like, well, let's just react to MFW. Like, I don't feel like watching Foodie at all. So let's see what she's doing. And then all of a sudden, it's like, Breezy's trying to fight you. And then I don't even know. Like, I almost feel bad for myself. <laughs> but I just feel like... um. <sighs> I need to find her exact address so I can let the police know in her area what she's doing currently right now online, um, asking people for my personal address and information. And I, like I said, I don't know how this stream is still up because there's so many privacy issues happening. Um, I've got how many restraining orders? Please. Katie, what would I, I'm not trying to sue you. What would I sue you for? An ashtray and an empty vodka bottle? That's the line. That's the self-loathing former alcoholic who really doesn't like what she did in her addiction and is putting it off on Katie. She doesn't know what Katie has. She doesn't know if Katie has investment somewhere or something. An ashtray and an empty vodka bottle? If you really think that low of this woman, don't pretend otherwise. You were like, oh, I saw a light in your eyes before. You Stop bullshitting, dude. You never liked her. Maybe it's because she reminds you a lot of who you used to be. <laughs> if you dox me or ask about my child again, the police will be there because your information is public. It's all online now. It, they will be there faster than you can pour your next drink. But I feel so good, like, I feel like 450 pounds lighter. Again, I can't refer to the person by name, but, like, I got the advice, strong advice to 
not react to that person anymore because certain things that were said are very serious. And um, like, I don't want to jeopardize anything. So we won't be reacting to Foodie Beauty for the foreseeable future. Um, probably not ever again. I don't know. I don't know. But um, she's no longer going to be a part of this. We're going to react to Shani for Christ. We're going to react to Amberlynn Reed, Tammy Lemon, Sierra and like positive people too. It doesn't always have to be a crap show. Like we don't always have to watch people that, you know what I mean? Like it doesn't have to always be like that. So um, I'm excited for new changes. I'm excited to not have to fight with people. Like <laughs> I'm just so excited. Like I said, this was at the end of December of 2022, and within a day or two, Breezy was back to covering Foodie. She's just never been able to leave her alone. And uh, she pretty much stayed away from MFW, but she still checks her out every now and then. She's learned not to fuck with her, that's for sure. I noticed she says like damn near every other word, so I thought it would be fun to start counting them. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hi.